Hey guys, so we want to open up these M119 videos with a little bit about functions. And so a lot of you will have seen functions before, maybe in algebra, and if I asked you what they were, maybe you'd say, well, it's a line, it's an equation, something like that, right? But in M119, we want to think a little bit more basically about what a function is. And so to do that, let's start by just drawing a machine. And so this machine will be very simple. It's just going to be a box, and I'm going to label it F. And so what this machine is going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to feed it numbers. All right? And so specifically, I'm going to give it a distance in feet. All right? So I'm going to feed it one foot, and what this machine is going to do is it's going to spit out another number. And that other number that it spits out is going to be that same distance, but in inches. So for one foot, it would spit out 12 inches. I can feed this uh, feed this machine other numbers too, right? I could feed it two feet and for two feet the machine would spit out 24 inches and let's just do one more. I could feed the machine three feet and it would spit out 36 inches that same distance in feet. And so this is really the core of what we want to think about when we think about a function. We want to think about a machine that takes an input, input and it spits out an output. right? And so how would we actually write that down? Well, let's take a look at the definition from the book. Right? And so what the book tells us is that a function is a rule, and that's the word I really want you to focus on. It's a rule that takes certain numbers as inputs and assigns to each an output. So in our example machine above, we have inputs here on the left side, and our function takes these inputs and assigns them an output here on the right side. And some important terminology for functions that will play a bigger role in the coming sections, or in this one especially, we're going to see this a lot, something like f of 2. And what I want you to think of when you see f of 2 is what we're looking for is the output of the function when it's fed an input of 2. So for our example, when we fed our function 2, take a look above, its output was 24 inches, right? So from that we would see that f of 2, in our example above, was 24. Another couple pieces of vocabulary are the domain and the range. And the domain is basically the numbers that you're allowed to throw in to the left side. Sometimes only certain types of numbers make sense. So in this example, only positive numbers make sense. We don't have negative, negative feet, right? And so the range here would be the set of possible outputs from your set of allowed inputs, right? So the range here is also any positive number because as long as you can throw in any possible number of feet, you can get any possible number of inches out. And we'll kind of show that a little bit more later on. But so what we've basically done here is we've described this function, we've described this rule, but generally we're not going to be using words to describe functions. That's the first way we can kind of represent a function. And so what are, what are the ways that we're going to use that are a little bit more efficient? Well, the first that we're going to see a lot, which you probably haven't worked with as much before, but most of you will find very intuitive, is a table. And so the way a table will work is we'll list our inputs in the top row. So that would be the left side of our machine. And we're going to lift, list the outputs in our bottom row. So that's going to be what the machine spits out, what's on the right side. So just to fill in our three values from above, remember if we fed it one foot, the machine spit out 12. We could also feed it 2 and the machine would spit out 24. And finally we could feed it 3 and the machine would spit out 36. Right. How about graphs though? Graphs are something we've seen a lot more and let's just let's start by just representing these three facts up here in our graph. So our graph has two axes. It has a horizontal and a vertical axis and so the horizontal axis here is kind of our input axis. These are the numbers that we throw into the left side of our machine. The vertical axis, these are the numbers that come out of the right side of the machine. These are the outputs. And so to kind of show that if the machine gets a 1, it spits out a 12, what we do is we find a 1 on the input axis, and then we find a 12 on the output axis, 
and we just kind of see where those two things intersect and draw a dot there. So input of 1 gives me an output of 12. To show those other two points, we find the input of 2, output of 24. And finally, an input of 3 gives me an output of 36. Now, notice in this problem, it's not, in this graph, all I have is three points right now. Is that what we're used to seeing in a graph? Not usually. Usually it's a line or something, right? So where does that come from? Well, let's think. What would happen if I plugged in a 0.5 into my function, a one-half, one-half of a foot? Once, what is the function going to spit out? Well, and if, I, if I feed it half a foot, it's going to actually spit out six inches, right? Because six inches is half a foot. So there is another dot, right? And I could do the same thing. I could, I could feed it a quarter of a foot, and that would spit out three inches, right? I could, I, could, I could feed it three quarters of a foot, and it would spit out nine inches. And I could keep doing this. I could keep splitting it. I could keep drawing more dots. And eventually, I'm to have so many dots that it looks like a line. And so that's, that's why we actually often see lines, because it's just a collection of input and output points. It's kind of a shortcut to drawing lots of little points rather than... Uh, Rather than doing what I did between 1 and 2, I can just draw lines like that to show that if I fed in 1.5 feet, I'd be getting 18 inches out. Right. And so finally, uh, another way we'll represent functions is with formulas. Right. And so the formula for this function is that my distance in inches, call it y, is going to be the value that my function returns when you feed it the distance in feet. All right, so x is my distance in feet. f of x is the is the value that the function returns, and the actual formula in this case is just going to be 12 times the number of feet that I fed in. All right, so big ideas from this video: a function is a rule. It's a rule that assigns each each input and output, and there's four main ways we can represent it. Right, we can represent it with words. We can represent it with tables and then graphs and functions. And we need to be comfortable with working with all three.